Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I decided to go ahead and post an extra day this week because I had a video I wanted to go ahead and get out and I have so many subscription boxes coming in so I thought I should just go ahead and post this video for y'all. So today we are going to go over our boxy charm for the month of January. Um, it didn't really come that late like it came in Saturday which was the 20th so it was pretty late but I was out of town doing my microblading so I couldn't get to the box and I wanted to go ahead and get crepe vines out first so uh we're gonna get this on here for y'all today um so with this box like I told you in my last video I'm not supposed to wear foundation I'm gonna try anyways and just not get it close to my brows so if I look uneven around my brows Y'all are going to know that's what's going on because I'm not supposed to put foundation anywhere near them. So I'm just going to try to get like right around here and hope that that'll take care of that. <laughs> so um, we are just going to go ahead and jump in, I guess. Um, here is the box. We open it up and we've got all kinds of goodies and we have our card. This month is Rock 2018. I think this is really great. For a January box kind of you know get into the year with a kick you know start it out so the first thing I'm gonna get I'm gonna go in order <clears throat> I'm gonna grab this primer this is the Dr. Brandt pores no more luminizer primer and it is one ounce and it retails for $38 I know what you're thinking that's super high for a primer if you don't know Dr. Brandt, I understand you saying that, but everything Dr. Brandt is super expensive, which is why I'm glad BoxyCharm sends us those products because they're way too expensive, but they're really nice. <laughs> so that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that on. And I have oily skin, so like luminizing primer isn't the best idea for me, but I'm going to hope that maybe it won't bring these oils out even worse. Ooh, so it just looks like this kind of skin color for me anyways a little bit thick and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on avoiding my eyebrow area <laughs> so let's see I'm gonna put it on with my fingers because I never use a brush for primer and I'm just gonna put it all over and see if it gives me a nice illuminating effect it does feel really nice off the jump. Doesn't smell too bad. It smells almost like the um, exfoliator we got, just with a little less mint. If you get Boxy Charm, you'll know what I mean. So it smells kind of like that. But it feels pretty nice, and my face feels pretty smooth. So I can handle that. <clears throat> So I'm just going to put on a little bit of foundation real quick. And I don't know how this is going to go. So I'm going to do it off camera and I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so I got my foundation on and I did not touch the brows. <laughs> but I feel like it didn't make my foundation go on any worse. I can see a little bit of a luminous effect like on the high points of my cheek. I don't really see a whole lot of my oils coming through. It actually, like my foundation still covered up the oils. So I feel like that's good. So I'm going to show you what most people would do next, but what I cannot do next, and that is the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. It comes in universal taupe, and for obvious reasons, I can't use this, <laughs> which makes me really sad because I really wanted to show you guys how this worked. So I was like hoping and praying this box would come in before the eyebrows, and then it didn't. But once they heal up, I'm still going to need a brow product. So I can give you all an update later on how this works once these are healed. It looks like this. And it's got a spoolie on one end, which is always nice. And then we have the pencil on the other. Just looks like this. And just to give you a small swatch, the pencil does feel very hard. But that is the color of the pencil right there. <clears throat> but it seems like uh, since it is a little harder, the edges of it would be good for hair-like strokes. And if you want to fill them in real thick, you could use the end. 
So that's definitely not bad. I don't know if I said that retails for 24. So the box is up to 60, ooh, $62 so far. So already way more than we paid for it. Almost three times. So since I can't do that, the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and go into is this pure bronze and brighten palette. It's very sturdy, just a nice white plastic. You open it up and you've got a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. And we're gonna use all three of these just to see how they work. And it also has a nice size mirror in it. <clears throat> so first I'm gonna take an angled contour brush and go into this bronzer. They are all very shimmery. So I don't know how I feel about this yet, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so that went on okay. Uh, it is a little bit shimmery and it didn't blend quite so well as I'd hoped, especially up here. It might be a little too dark because if you've got eyes, you know that I'm very pale. So dark bronzers are no go for me, but it's not bad. If you're a little more tan, this would actually probably look pretty good on you. So I'm just gonna go into the blush next with a Luxie blush brush and just pop that on my cheeks. so this I like uh, this has got just a nice shimmer to it and I think that looks really good um, I could definitely see myself reaching for that so here's what I'm excited about I'm gonna go into this highlight right here with my Morphe M501 and we are gonna see what kind of blinding goodness we can get out of this This was what I was so excited about. I mean, everything in here is good in my opinion, but that I was excited about. Okay, so next we have got this uh, Glam Metals eyeshadow palette by Crown. Uh, you will know them because we get their brushes pretty often. That's what they're really known for, but they also have some really good eyeshadows. <clears throat> this is so cute. The mirror is in the shape of a guitar. And then we have all of our shades. They are all shimmers except for the black. So to create a look with this, I am going to dip in with an Anastasia just tan color to do my transition. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this palette to do kind of a halo eye because I'm really into those right now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead with that transition shade real quick if I can find a clean brush and I'm just gonna go into this tan it's whoo, if I don't break it first it is I don't know the shade name but it's an Anastasia eyeshadow so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and toss that into my crease okay so I got that on and I went ahead and zoomed in just a little bit so that y'all can see what I'm doing a little better we are just going to go ahead with that palette <clears throat> and I kind of have an idea in mind but we're just going to see how it works out. Um, what I want to do, bear with me, I want to go in with heavy metal right here. This is kind of a grungy blue shade and I'm going to put that in my outer and my inner corners and set up for my halo eye that I'm really hoping I can pull off. Okay, so that worked out almost how I planned. So let me just do the other eye real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, and just for a little bit of depth, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of black metal that is our matte black and I'm going to pop that in the outer corner with this same brush. Okay and just so um, we're all 
I evened up, I'm going to take heavy metal on my lower lash line and just let that be what smokes me out. Okay, so here's what I had in mind for this, and I don't know if it's going to look how I want it to, <clears throat> but I want to go into Rock On right here. This is like an olive green shimmer. And I want to put that in the center of my lid. Because like in my head that sounds super pretty. Don't know how it's going to translate on the eyes. But we're going to try it. Okay. So that is basically how I thought it was going to look. <clears throat> So it looks like the lightest shade in this palette. It's either Pop Rock down here or Punk up here. I'm going to go with Pop Rock and just put that in my inner corner. Okay, so I feel like that gives me the grunge out effect I was going for. I would highlight my brow bone, but I can't, <laughs> so I'm not. But I'm gonna go put on some mascara real quick. I don't really want any lashes or any eyeliner to cover this up, so I'm gonna go put on some mascara, and then I'll be right back to show you our last product. By the way, because Florence sucks, uh, that palette retails for 25 and that bronze and brighten cheek palette retails for $34. So that brings the total of the box way up and I'll tell you how much the whole box is worth when I get back. Okay guys, so I put on a little bit of mascara and I know this is not as dramatic as it should be but with these eyebrows, I'm just so skeptical to put on anything that's as hard to get off as lash glue right now because that glitter that I had on in yesterday's video almost killed my eyebrows and there's still little flecks of it in there and I'm just really really hoping it doesn't get in any of the cuts that haven't scabbed over yet. So we have our last product and I have to stay zoomed in for this. We have a Girlactic lip paint and I cheated. <laughs> I used this uh, the day that I got home. I used this to wear out. <clears throat> With my little bit of concealer and hardly any products on my face i put this lippy on and i got it in the color demure and this packaging is like super cute i love the color of this it's not like rose gold it's kind of a pinky silver almost but it is cute and i like it <clears throat> so we are just going to apply this real quick and I'm going to tell you the value of the whole box, and then I'm going to show you an extra that I got that I'm so excited about that I will be using very soon. So here we go. Okay, so I am quite a big fan of this lip. It is a little dark. But I love dark lips because I have dark hair and I'm pale and I feel like dark lips make me look serious. I don't know. That's just what I think. Maybe I'm dreaming, but that's how I feel. And these retail for $23. It is relatively stay proof. Um, I had a little issue with it coming off throughout the day, but I think I ate like a burger with it on. So that's totally reasonable. Like, if it didn't come off with a burger, um, I think I would question what they had to put in it to make it stay on. So I'm okay with that. But as for the whole value of this box, we paid $21 for this box. $21. And this entire box is worth $144, which is incredible. Um, you know, if you want to get real particular, some of this stuff... I would never pay a retail price for it, but I think that's the whole point of a subscription box is that you get things that you couldn't really afford or you wouldn't really buy yourself because you feel like they're overpriced and you get to try them out. Like, I don't think I would pay $34 for this and I know I wouldn't pay $38 for a face primer. That's a personal preference. I can't really afford to do that even if I could. I have things I love a lot more that are a lot more affordable. 
but I do adore these products. They are amazing and considering the actual retail value, we got an amazing deal this month and you can do like a whole lot of your face. Like all you need is like, what, foundation, concealer, and mascara. And I mean, you can do your brows, you can do your primer, your eyes, your lips, all your contour, blush, and highlight with this box. Amazing, right? I think that's a great value to get dang near a full face for $21. So for the other item I was going to show you, let me zoom you out a little bit. If you are a BoxyCharm subscriber, um, you'll know that they have a thing called a charm shop. So every time you refer a friend, you get charms. When I think when you get a box, you get charms. When you review products that you got in your boxes, you get charms. So every thousand charms, is it thousand? Yeah, every thousand charms is like ten dollars. So I saved up my charms and I waited until something amazing popped up and I got my first like I've gotten something from the charm shop before that I wasn't a big fan of but I just rushed to redeem points because I get really anxious about stuff like that. So I waited it out this time and I got something I'm very fond of. So I got a pretty vulgar shimmering swan highlight and why I'm so fond of this, this company, I don't really know that they have the best products. I've never tried any of them. I've never tried this. Um, it is called Glimmers of BS. That is a shade. I only opened it to make sure it wasn't broken when it came in. <clears throat> this company is known for their packaging, I think, more than anything. Because, like, look how cute this is. It's like a little picture frame with little embroidery looking stuff on it and you open it up and this is like a really nice kind of champagne pinky highlight and i'm going to swatch it for you just so you can see kind of what the shade is i'm going to swatch it right here it is actually super pretty now that i've swatched it for the first time it's got a lot of sheen a lot of shine and i can see this being very blinding and i did I did watch reviews on it before I bought it because I never buy anything without watching reviews unless it's like a brand brand new release that nobody's reviewed yet and even then I look at the big youtubers and I watch theirs because they get it ahead of time so I watched the reviews and I saw that a lot of the pretty vulgar products people aren't a big fan of but that these highlighters were incredible so I'm going to tell you you can redeem your charms for your product and you can redeem charms for your shipping so I got this highlight which I think was worth like $28. I got it for $2 out of the charm shop. And that's awesome because now I have a cute little highlight to add to my collection that is very blinding. And uh, just a really nice highlight to keep on deck. And it's super cute and I'm a sucker for good packaging. So um, if you don't have BoxyCharm, that's just another perk we get. I mean, you can go in and review stuff that you've gotten in your box or stuff that you've tried that they have listed. And you'll get charms every time you do that. Right now, I think I have like $50 in charms just kind of saved up for when they get something that cool in the charm shop again. So <clears throat> that is that. I'm going to insert a short video of the swatches of the eyeshadow palette right here. Okay, guys. So here are the swatches for the palette. We have got Punk wild thing black metal which is not nearly as pigmented as i thought it was a lot more pigmented as i was using it that's not always a bad thing with a black shadow though we have a rock on rebel which is super pigmented that is one swipe y'all heavy metal then we've got the wicked which is really powdery but it's still really pigmented and really pretty i'll have to see how it blends out glam rock and pop rock so that is the Glam Metals palette. And uh, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, sorry if I look a little rough, but I think I did okay with this foundation, all things considered. <clears throat> and I hope you enjoyed this look. I really like it. I'm a huge fan of this palette. If I have to have one transition shade with it, that's fine because these metallics are absolutely gorgeous. So I'll take that any day. Um, next month for Boxy, just to give you a couple of spoilers, uh, we are getting a three-piece crown brush set. It's really pretty, like white and pink brushes, and crown brushes are super sturdy. And then it's also possible, we haven't been told for sure, but everybody's speculating we're going to get some cover FX um, 
enhancing, not the drops. It's like almost like in a concealer tube. It's kind of like the Stila Magnificent Metals, but more uh, shimmery than glittery. So kind of like the, uh, oh, what is it? The shimmer and, I don't know, the metallic ones that are more foiled than they are glittery. Um, we think we're getting that next month too. Who knows? And we know Cover FX is amazing. Their products are super expensive and nobody can afford that stuff. I mean, maybe you can, but most of us can't. So that already looks really good. Next month's box is super promising and I absolutely cannot wait to get it. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go and I will see you actually tomorrow with just a regular makeup tutorial. Um, I already have it scheduled and they're ready to go for y'all. So tomorrow will just be an old school makeup tutorial that I really hope y'all enjoy. So uh, have an incredible day or night wherever you are and I'll see y'all later. Bye you guys.